hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and welcome back to the SL 63 AMG today we're going to be talking about depreciation specifically how badly the SL 63 has depreciated over the last six years my definition of depreciation is the difference between the car's value when you purchase it and when you go to sell it in the case of the SL 63 it's a 2013 model the purchase price was one hundred and sixty thousand dollars the current market value is sixty thousand dollars that's right guys one hundred thousand dollars in depreciation in six years now let's back into those numbers a little bit so when I did the math on the SL 63's depreciation number over the last six years the car basically depreciated at 10 percent per year now I would even go a step further and say the majority of that depreciation was in the first three years we compare that to my ownership of the SL 63 which is 17 months. I bought the SL in March of 2018. I paid $75,000 for it. So over the last 17 months, my depreciation number is $15,000 compared to the total depreciation number of $100,000. So over the last 72 months, the SL 63 has averaged a de monthly depreciation of $1,358. Over my 17 month ownership, it has averaged about $850 per month. So that's a big difference in those two numbers. Purchasing the SL pre-owned was the right way to go as it relates to depreciation. We all will agree that $100,000 is just way too much money to be losing on a car. So what are some of the ways you can kind of protect yourself from the depreciation hit? Well, when you're out looking for a car, you got to think about two things in my opinion. First thing is, is if you want to buy new, you have to have the mind frame that you're going to keep the car long term. I would say five to seven to ten years in order for that upfront depreciation that happens typically in the first three years not to bite you in the butt. The other way to get around depreciation or at least minimize depreciation is buying pre-owned like I did with the SL63. The car was five years old when I purchased it. Most of that $100,000 in depreciation was already gone. If you're going to buy brand new, keep it long term. If you're going to purchase and keep it short term, then purchase a pre-owned. Some other things you can look for to help minimize depreciation are you can look at the reliability of a car, you can look at the popularity of a car, you can look at the fuel economy of a car, you can look at the maintenance history of the car, um, you can look at the mileage on the car, you can look at the size of the car, you can look at whether it has a warranty or not. All of those things you can take in consideration when you're out shopping for a car because a lot of those things will minimize the depreciation curve on that car you're getting ready to purchase. SL63 has lost $100,000 in depreciation and lucky for me I purchased it at a time where most of that depreciation had already passed. Now I'll probably have a little bit more depreciation on the 63 uh, as I continue to own it. My goal is to get out of it probably around 2020 so I'll be in the car for about a full two years and I would think my depreciation hit over that full two years will be about $20,000 or about $10,000 a year. I can live with that. I'm a big believer in all cars depreciate the exception of a very very small few. Classic cars that are very rare they continue to go up in value and you're talking about your special supercar hypercar type cars that continue to go up in value because they're limited production cars. Thank goodness again I didn't take that $100,000 depreciation hit on the SL63. I bought it the right way which is pre-owned. Um, now I do buy new cars like I mentioned before the GT3 I bought brand new but that's more of a rare car. Uh, it's a special 911 not very many made and uh, so it holds its value pretty good. I think it'll depreciate slightly but it won't depreciate as much obviously as the SL63 and the Ferrari hasn't 
depreciated as bad as the SL63 either. I hope the video was helpful. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you think about the depreciation on the SL63. If you have additional questions, you can also contact me on Instagram at richardfain28. Uh, just send me a DM and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. As always, guys, thank y'all for spending some time with me and checking out this video. Um, if it was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing and share the video. Keep chasing greatness, guys, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.